Greetings from Delhi Medical Association and Emedi News. Welcome to our show, Chat with Dr. KK. We have with us Dr. AK Grover, who is a Padma Shri awardee and who is an ophthalmologist, uh, senior ophthalmologist based at Gangaram Hospital. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Uh, very small, simple question, year 2013. What's new in the field of eye care? Rapidly evolving field. We have changes taking place in cataract surgery, changes taking place in refractive surgery, changes taking place in oculoplastic and especially aesthetic surgery. I'll stress on these three. Cataract surgery has evolved to become a micro incision surgery. The optics of lenses which are used has evolved dramatically. They are now aspheric lenses. There are lenses which give you bifocal or multifocal vision and there are lenses which will accommodate. There are newer incisions, newer techniques for incisions So practically you can go and come back, get your new With a 1.8 incision and the patient will be active the same day. So that is the great evolution. Apart from cataract. Refractive surgery. We have gone on to the evolution of bladeless, uh, bladeless flaps, which give us a much smoother surface. So no more specs? Yes. The myopias, the hypermetropias and the estimators. Why you have not got it done for yourself? They are for younger people. They are for younger people. And the third? And the third is in the field of oculoplastic surgery, a rapidly evolving field. And especially the aesthetic surgery. Now we preserve tissues much more than we used to. We no longer cut tissue as was the norm in plastic surgery around the eyes earlier. We beautify the eyes by filling, by relocating tissues and by minimally invasive techniques which will make you fit within days. Anything new in your uh, ocular transplant, in your uh, corneal transplant? Corneal transplant has evolved a great deal again because we now have lamellar procedures which will take care of the disease by only partially transplanting cornea which implies that the invasion into the anterior chamber is avoided, the chances of rejection are reduced and the results are much faster and much better. If you would not have been a doctor, what you would have become? I would have been a hero. Hero? <laughs> That's good. Who is your favorite heroine? Um, heroine? Oh. Um, if you would have been a hero, obviously you would Madhuri, have been... Madhuri, Madhuri Dikshit Madhuri was Dikshit was your yeah, All time favorite. And uh, if you are acting in a movie and where this the so-called gang rape victim movie as a hero, what will be your reaction? What role you would like to play? The police officer, the doctor who treated or what not? I'll, I'll be the doctor who treats her. You'll be the doctor who treated that girl and though yeah, we could and not save her but, yeah, but what's, your, what's your uh, view on the whole gang rape? It just shows the depths to which humanity can go. I think uh, we'll all have to evolve as human beings and evolve our society very rapidly. Do you feel that all police personnel who are reaching the uh, point of care at the time of an assault should be trained in first aid and cardiac first aid? Yes, they should be trained. Or they should be posted the... along with the paramedic? First of all, they'll have to be taught humaneness. They'll have to... That has to be at every level. Yes. Whether it is doctor, medical profession, nurses, police, social workers, everybody must be taught empathy. All the vans, all the hundred, man, hundred number vans should have provision for first aid and cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So what Dr. Grover has given a message is very clear that eye surgery, there are lots of advances and now you can have, in a younger age group, you can have absolutely say no to specs. You should be able to operate a person. And that's thank uh, Dr. Grover to be with us. That's all for today. We'll come back with one more show. Till that, goodbye. Thank you. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Bye.